Hello and welcome to the new style Ed Excel GCSEs. These are the ones that go from grades 9 through to grades 1. This is paper 1MA1 slash 1H. It's the first paper in the higher tier and it's a non-calculator paper. And we're picking up here in question 19. Okay, we're asked to solve the inequality x squared is greater than 3x plus 4. Okay, well one of the things about inequalities is we can pretty much do anything to an inequality that we can do to an equation. Uh, the only big thing to worry about is that the sign will change from a greater than to a less than or from a less than to a greater than if we decide to multiply everything through by a negative number. And the reason for that is because numbers go smaller as they carry on along the x-axis when you're less than zero. So for example negative three is smaller than negative one whereas negative whereas positive one is smaller than positive three. So let me just try to show you there. So negative three is less than negative one. If I multiply both sides through by minus one I end up with three on this side and I end up with 1 on this side. But clearly 3 is not less than 1, so we have to change the sign. That's the only thing to have to watch out for with inequalities. For the most part, it's pretty much dealt with the same way you would deal with an equal sign. So you can sort of mentally pretend it's an equal sign and try and sort of go from there, and then at the end, remember that it's an inequality and, and try to figure out. So we can do the same as we did with an equation. We would just subtract 3x and subtract 4 from both sides. So x squared minus 3x minus 4. And you'll note we have not multiplied through by minus 1 or through by any negative number. We haven't multiplied through by anything. All we've done is subtract 3x and we've subtracted 4 from both sides. So this greater than doesn't change. It's still greater than and this time it's 0 because we've taken everything from this right hand side over to the left hand side. So now we've got ourselves an expression here that's nice quadratic expression. We're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give negative 4 and add together to give negative 3 and that way we can just factorize it. Well the, the only factors there to worry about is 4 and 1 and because this term is negative that means the bigger number has to be negative and because this term is negative they both have to have opposite signs they can't both be negative or they can't both be positive. So we're looking at x minus 4 into x plus 1. And that's still greater than 0 because we haven't done anything. All we've done is factorise this left hand side. We can quickly do a reality check to make sure that we haven't done anything wrong. If we multiply these out we've got x squared plus x minus 4x. So plus x combined with minus 4x is going to be minus 3x and then minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. So that is correct. Okay, now if this was an equation, the next thing we'd do is look for the zeros. So if x was 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, 0 times anything is 0, so x equals 4 would be a solution if that was an equal sign. And also, if x was negative 1, then negative 1 plus 1 is 0, and 0 times anything is 0, so negative 1 is also a solution. But this is an inequality, not an equality. But even so, we know that something special is going on between x is negative 1 and x is positive 4. So what happens if x is between negative 1 and 4? Let's just look that up. Let's just plug that in and have a look. If x is less than 4 then this term is going to be negative because a number smaller than 4 is being taken away from 4 so we're left with a negative term. And if x is greater than minus 1 
we know that if x was equal to minus 1, then this would be 0. If x is greater than minus 1, then this is going to be positive. So we've got a negative times a positive, which is a negative. And negative numbers is less than 0. So this whole inequality would fail for all values between x is negative 1 and x is positive 4. So we know that x cannot be in that range, and we know that x cannot equal 4, and x cannot equal minus 1. So that only leaves us with everything that's outside of that range. So our answer is x is greater than 4, or x is less than minus 1. And that is our solution. But let's just quickly check if x is greater than positive 4, a number greater than 4, when we subtract 4, we're going to end up with a number that's greater than 0, in other words, positive. And if x is less than negative 1, we're going to have... Actually, if x is still greater than 4, we're going to have this number is still going to be positive. So then a positive times a positive is a positive, which is greater than 0. And then if x is less than negative 1, if we put a number that's less than negative 1, that means x is negative, so a negative minus 4 is going to be an even bigger negative. And if x is less than negative 1, and we add 1, we're going to end up with a number that's less than 0, or a number that's negative. And a negative times a negative is also a positive, which is greater than 0. So both these terms satisfy this inequality. Okay, I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.